hello everyone welcome back to the power bi tutorials in this video we will see that how can we create a report in power bi so this report is going to be a very simple report this is basically the application of all the things that we have learned up till now in power bi we are going to add some simple charts like the donut charts pie charts bar charts tables matrices and make use of the slicers okay so with the collection of all these things we are going to actually create a report format in power bi to make sure that you all understand that what is a kind of a report and how can it be created so for this purpose what i have done over here is i have already imported a table known as the orders table into my power bi and the next thing that i will do is uh, i will be uh, just adding some of the charts okay but before that we need to make sure that this thing is actually uh, recognized as a report so we need to give it a title so for that purpose we can just insert a text box in the home tab itself there is this option of this text box you can just go to it and um, you can enter any text that you want so this is going to be a text box right here like this and you can make sure the title is turned on and this title is going to be a sample report now you can uh, make any changes that you want um, like the alignment i'm going to select a middle alignment for this and the text size i'm just going to change it to say 32 like this okay so this is my text box sample report now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this report on the basis of region okay so first of all i'm going to create three donor charts these charts will be about the region and the thing that i'm going to show is uh, the sales by region the number of orders by region and the quantities of the items ordered okay so first of all for that we can just create a donut chart like this we can just uh, resize it like this and then we need to drag in the region field over here sorry uh, make sure that your donut chart is selected and then you can just drag your region field and the first thing that i am going to add is sales so region and sales so this is the donut chart of region wise sales uh, this is looking good but i'm going to just change something that is i'm just going to turn this legend off and in the details labels i'm just going to select all detail labels the color is good i'm just going to increase its text size a little bit by scrolling it down so let's just change it to say 14 would be good right or um, we can just uh, resize it like this okay 14 is too much so let's just change it to 10 okay yeah that's looking good and i'm happy with this chart so what i can do right now is i am just going to uh, change its title or i'm just going to sales by region is good i'm just going to align it to the center okay so you can just go to this title option align it to the center and increase its text size to say 15 or 16 right so this is my donor chart and i'm just going to uh, bring it over here like this okay now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to actually okay that is something that i must get rid of and uh, this is the donor chart that i have created and i'm just going to actually duplicate it right now so that i can just uh, change instead of sales i can bring up uh, the quantity and the orders so once it is selected you can just press ctrl c and ctrl v it would be copied and pasted then you can just drag it upwards like this okay now instead of the sales field you can just uncheck the sales field and you can just uh, just select or just check on this quality field so quantity ordered by region uh, i just want to get rid of this new thing so quantity by region that's what i want not ordered not new you can just change the title quantity by region 
then you can just uh, again it is copied so no need to copy it again you can just simply paste it and you can just um, uh, drag it upwards like this this time it is going to be the order id so i'm just going to change it so um, let us just resize it a little bit So these are the three donor charts, order ID by region, quantity by region and sales by region instead of order ID. Let's just change its title uh, to say that it is order by region. Okay, so that's order by region. That's the three donor charts. Then I'm going to add a bar chart, which is going to show the same thing that is region wise um, sales. All right, like this and let's just arrange it a little bit. okay that's perfect then what we are going to do is we are going to add another thing and that is known as the line chart this time i'm going to add actually the profit for the region that is how much profit was done so the fields are going to be the region field and the profit fields for this line chart so we can see that in which region we got the most profit in which region we got the loss and everything about that okay so we can just arrange it and um, after this what we can do is we can add a table so this is the table that i'm going to add over here and this table is going to hold some of the values like um, instead of the region or instead of the table i can just add a matrix in which i will be adding cities i will be adding some kind of uh, regions and i will be adding the sales okay so what is this uh, matrix going to contain it's going to contain city okay so that's the thing here is you need to select this visual and then you can just click on city uh, you can just click on region and then you can just scroll down and select on the sales value okay now you can just expand it a little bit like this so that you are getting everything over here uh, scrolling is possible everything is there that's perfect now what we can do again is um, we can just simply add a slicer that is if we want to just slice something if we want to just um, show something so i'm just getting rid of this bar chart right now and i'm just going to add a slicer okay so let us just add a slicer this slicer will be uh, for the city so we will be just um, covering the city or basically for the region region would be good so let's just create a slicer for region now what happens is we have got four regions into the slicer and let's just arrange it back like this. So this slicer will help us to just slice uh, these regions. Okay. Now whatever region we select, only its stuff would be visible. Like if we just select the central region, only the central region would be visible in all of these. But that is not looking correct. So what we are going to do is instead of region, let us just create the slicer for something called as city. We have got the list of all the cities in the slicer and we can just select or view the values in a city wise fashion. Like if we want to uh, view the value of any of the cities. Now, another important thing in a report uh, is that of uh, cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the slicer because cards are extremely important they are more important than the slicers so i'm going to add some of the cards in the report as well so this is a card i just can click on this card and what i'm going to get is the total sales so uh, or the profit i can also create a card for a profit so that's the profit card let's just uh, resize it like this and change its uh, position so that's for profit I'm going to create another card. I can simply just copy this card and paste it to duplicate it. And instead of profit, I'm going to show the total amount of sales. So this is going to be the sales value that is going to be added in this card. But before that, we must remove this profit and this sales would be added. So it is showing me that the total amount of sales done, the total profit obtained, the line chart for the profit 
orders quantity sales through donor charts and this whole table from where i can get any information that i want so this is a kind of a report which you can create very easily in power bi based upon all the things that you have understood up till now now what is the next step is once you have created the report you need to publish it so how can we actually publish our report online uh, this is something that uh, we are going to see in the upcoming lessons or in the upcoming videos but as you can see that this is a simple report if you want you can add many more visualizations that uh, you fancy uh, you can create reports for yourself and you can apply as many things in it as you want so this is all in today's video and i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching